I was actually calling you. Alright. No, I was just calling you. I was like, husband, husband. <laughs> actually, I called you my mood by me. when you weren't answering, I was like, husband, husband, what is this? What is this? Abandonment. What do you mean? Are you? Don't worry, yeah. Example. Huh? Example. Um. I don't know. You think I should film this? I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going Oh my god, I forgot to get my mic. Oh. Please, can you give me my mic? My mic? In a chicken backpack in the now. Hello, welcome back. Obviously, this is my wedding vlog. <laughs> well, I've finally uploaded it. I wanted to say a little bit of something before the actual vlog starts. I had my dream wedding and it was fantastic. Probably because people that actually enjoy me were not invited. Something that you may want to consider if you are throwing yourself a, a wedding. But yeah, I really um, I had it the way I wanted. Never wanted to, to have like the you know week long event that people usually have. I'm not that type of person. Like I, if you want to do if that is what you want to do, that is great. I don't I don't judge anybody. Just it's not something that I will particularly enjoy because I naturally don't like stress and I don't like I don't even attend a lot of weddings. I barely attend any weddings. So with my own, I wanted to enjoy it, and that is what I did. I have a very small circle of of friends. I invited a lot of people last minute, and because of the December travel thing, a lot of people were not able to make it. But the people that made it, though, oh my God, I, we had so much fun. Um, my friends from university, we were three, Hajada and Mariam and myself, oh my god, they came to my house and they stayed there and it felt so nostalgic. My house felt like uh, my, um, it was a time capsule in Sokoto. It felt like we, we had gone back to undergrad and we were studying for maybe an exam and they'd come to my house or something. Like it, That is how it felt. Like Everybody was just there. We had so much fun. We had a pretend um bridal shower that it's obviously not in the vlogs we didn't because it was even at night and then we were just having fun like we do we had we had conversation it was great we we're always just in about different things life and everything it just felt like how we were in university and that was very very amazing i enjoyed that i'm very very grateful for those two, for those two and everybody else that was that added that said in a prayer Oh, I don't know what's good. People that weren't able to make it, I don't feel. Please don't feel bad. Trust me, I. That, that, this is great. Please don't feel bad. I don't like how people make such a big deal about weddings. It is not that big of a deal. That's how I have always seen it. I have never wanted to have such a huge thing. I'm not the first person to get married ever. Thousands, millions of people have gotten married before. It's not that. It's not that special. It's not actually. The only thing that is special about it is that I'm marrying my person, and that's it. And that's all that matters. So then the other thing, that's the only reason that I, but the entire party thing, I just not something that I can naturally sign up for. So when my mom was like, okay, well, we've got to do something like maybe working at my I was like, okay, I can give you that work at Amaria and uh, Dean and Buki slash Quranic recitation, which was fantastic. That was the day of the Nikah, so everything was just done and finished with. Yeah, so, but it was still tiring, even though we did not do a series of events, like we are literally still recovering from the wedding. So imagine if we had done all of that. Um, I don't enjoy stress, honestly. So, yeah. It was exactly how I wanted it, and how I imagined it, and it went great. So, I hope you have fun with this vlog, and <laughs> enjoy it. Alright, go on, start watching the vlog already. What are you still doing looking at my face? 
so a bit of an apology as i did not record most of the vlog <laughs> there were some parts that were recorded haphazardly and i do apologize for the poor quality hello what is up on a very moisturized note yeah welcome to my <laughs> wedding vlog hello what is up so the reason you're hearing my voice is because of copyright claim i've had such a hard time trying to upload this video so i figured to just mute the bit that have copyright on it and just do a voiceover underneath it uh, thankfully it's not a lot of it that has a, this is the only part that actually has um copyright claim on it so i'm going to do that i was just basically talking about um going downstairs to have coffee with yam and how i'm going to take you along the day and i was also talking about the shit show that was sokoto's hamatan so yeah Let's go downstairs. So my sister assigned me this task before she was headed out and it was very very stressful very i, I did not want to participate in it. it please do not underestimate the intensity of this it is terribly difficult i would have preferred to do a chemistry exam and it, it is you know you have to know that i my first f in life was chemistry but i would still have preferred to go through that exam than this process i wasn't even successful at doing it my friends had to help me so yeah i pretty much a failure in this department had contacted my electrician earlier to know if she's going to be available um, for my hair today, my hair appointment today. When I went downstairs, my mom was asking me if uh, the woman does home service and yeah, she did. I called her and she said yes, so I was so excited and she said she was coming. few moments later. Guys, here's Madame Joy, the one that did my hair. If you need your locks in this uh, Sokoto, right? <laughs> Oh, but I'm talking, can I put your number here? Yes, yes. Okay. Fashion she, touch. Yes. A dressing salon, home of dread. Exactly. Yes. She can do your hair. Like, she look, brah, I wish I could show you my hair policy. You can see, you can see that she did a really good job. Even from here, oh my god. It's really good. I love it. She's been doing my locks like for a very long time, whenever I'm in Sokoto. So, yeah. Check her out. Bye. Hi guys, what is up? It is another day, which is somewhat day two, I think. Yeah, day two yesterday. I started the vlog. Day two. I woke up not too long ago, as you can tell, and as you can hear, I am going to go downstairs. Today is the day that we do Lale, Hena. Um, my friends are here, they slept over. And that actually, as I'm in a different room because they're talking, like, the house is getting a lot noisy. At Mahmoud and his and some of his family are coming today, inshallah. So, yeah, I'll take you along today. Let's, let's go and get me all hennaed up. Yes, I haven't done Lele in such a really long time. Is that I had uh, mm, the red one, I have, I, I don't think I've ever done that one that I know of, maybe when I was a baby or little, but yeah. I'm excited to do this one. God, I'm so, I'm so, I'm still very sleepy. But, but at least I'm moisturized. So. Ah ah, so umma. Not saying I don't want to take it. Express your dignity every second. So, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, how do you feel? When we enter, you go. Tell her lenga. Bye, bye now, Ramba. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go. That's my language. I think it is. Eventually, 
Now, so I check you the airport and then the camera. The key video. I am not even asking my friend is complaining about Max Air again because they lost her baggage for like two days but they gave it back to her after a lot of stress so she was saying I should have flown out to the airport and gotten everything on camera so that they would have been looking for her now to give her money but they're not <laughs> what next time next time hi what is up so I just finished my fitting now we are going to do my own henna and got mom and umma so yes Hi guys, a little bit of an update, very very exhausted, but we have migrated to the second hand, to the first hand actually, to finish the legs, and I, will, I don't know if I can show you because my hand, they are doing the other hand, let me show you, okay, I can actually show you the other hand, then they've started on the other hand, uh, I don't think you guys can see, Hajara will come and help me do this. Hello everyone, mashallah, today is Hanna Day, Fosadi and Mahmoud's wedding. So far, so good. The, the, the legs are already done. No, that's for the red henna. So this is the black in process. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my true fashion way, of course, I continued to make fun of my mood because no, nothing actually ever changes. And my mom also joined in and was saying that they would also make, they would also do the leave for him. We're all just having fun and all of that um, before he goes to the guest house. And yeah, he was just there to eat as their flight just arrived. Many hours later. Many painful hours later, to be honest. The only pro of it was that my friends were there. I had so much fun. We were just talking, just and I'm making jokes, which helped, honestly. I made fun of a lot of people. I enjoyed it. <laughs> but then we had to get dressed up, and then we came for this um, post wedding photo shoot. All right, all right. So, yeah, obviously, after the lily, this is the next on the agenda. The post wedding photo shoot in case you are wondering what a post wedding photo shoot is it's basically like pre wedding pictures only we don't post them it's not it's literally as the name implies it is post so we post them on the day of the nikah because we wanted to post pictures immediately and we did not want to have issues with photographers on the day of the wedding so we just decided to do it beforehand and that was really good thinking on our part because we are still going through really issues with photographer with the photographer that did our wedding so yeah Great, great on our part. If I kept telling us to close our eyes, uh, we did not know what that was, so we just decided to follow suit. And just keep that in mind, a photographer will tell you to do that if you're getting married. For no good reason. It's so special. 
so after an obvious stressful day i made myself a cup of coffee at almost 12 a.m or i think past because we got back home very very late and i was beat but i needed i guess i felt like i was some I, a truck ran me over or something yes getting married getting married is such an exhausting process even if you're not doing a serious event so just keep that in mind and yeah see a therapist obviously after which i'm going to go ahead and get some sleep because tomorrow is going to be a very stressful day as it is an event we're going to do wenkin amaria it's a cultural it's a traditional cultural thing and i don't know how to explain it in english <laughs> so watch out for it thanks how do you forget my tomorrow? How do you forget my tomorrow? No, but you didn't say anything. How did you feel? Happy, excited. I, are you even forced to say this? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Hello, I'm not. I'm not. We just finished. I don't know if you can even hear me. We just finished from the photographer's place. Select pictures. I like your life. Hi guys, what is up? So, um, I have not checked in on you today at all. I've heard the pictures and then we went to... One! Soon after. As I was saying, I have not checked in with you guys all day. Um, we went to get see the picture. They look great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to do my makeup and get out. Moments later. More moments later. So as you can see I'm dressing up and I'm very very absolutely terribly late for this event. Uh, my friends went to give me something from the market, they took their time, things happened, yeah. The event went on for a while and it felt like it will never finish. I got so overwhelmed. I cried. 
it was a whole thing. <laughs> so, even now, I. No, not that. And yeah, I just smile. That's good. I just feel so I just feel nostalgic and some sorts of stuff just doing this voiceover. I came back beat as shit. Oh my god, I don't know how people do like a week long event. I don't have the strength at all. Bruh. I came back very exhausted, took more pictures. Mom came over, we took more pictures. His family was there too, we took pictures. My mom was there, we took pictures because the mother of the bride is not supposed to go for the Wenke Amaria, so she did not. But yeah. I was so tired <laughs> at the end of it all. So the day of the nigga, I got really, really sick. I couldn't get out of bed. Um, I had high fever. Everything was wrong with me. The doctor had to come in to the house and then he gave me some injections and it, then I got a little bit better. But I got better like uh, during the night time. I, I mean, as you can see, this is during the night time. My friends are all there and everything. So they encouraged me to like just put on a lipstick and, and let me just like, you know, let's just make this memory. So that was what we did. We had fun in our own way. They weren't, they were, they weren't in the key. Nobody vlogged that. I was just too sick. Nobody, because there was an event that happened. There was in my house. We did day in key and granite recitation. I only went in, I only went there like for like five minutes and I came back because I was very, very, very sick. But yeah, all in all, amazing. Loved it. Had so much fun with my friends and <laughs> was the best thing, honestly. I just like that. I am married. Mad. <laughs> See you next morning. So this is the day that I and my family and Mahmoud and the rest of us are going to Abuja are going to leave for Abuja but we're on our way to go and see my grandfather and introduce him to Mahmoud as well.
We went to a couple of houses as well, but now we're just going to go home and get ready to leave for the airport because we're running late actually. We're all packed and going. My dad is taking us to the airport. <laughs> So I'm for life now. <laughs> Shut this down. I think the lighting is a little bit too harsh. Okay, this is much better, I suppose. Yeah. Hey, hi, 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 hi. What is up? So, um, they just finished doing the Kai Amaria, Kawa Amaria. And what that means, I don't know how to explain it in English, but if you are if you if you know anything about so basically, yeah, it was meant to be done in like typically the day that um Akadara are but yeah, that wasn't done because I was in Sokoto and yeah, we, our flight, then we came in yesterday but the flight was, was rescheduled and we came to Abuja pretty much very, very late so we couldn't do that as well so we had to stay in the hotel and then today, you know, my family and his family then accompanied us to our house and yeah, so yeah, yeah, I was hoping that I would do this without uh, Mahmoud's interruption because he stepped out but he just got back so yeah. Um, we are in a house. Yeah, everybody's gone now. We are so stressed, but <laughs> we've been through so much. <laughs> I feel as though we haven't rested since November. We've been so busy planning everything and also the wedding and everything. So, yeah, 
I, all, all of this is to say that, as you can see, I've actually, I was playing music, and I'm just going to eat or just watch TV and something, and hang out, and yeah, this is the last vlog for the wedding vlog. It's ended. So yeah, watch out for the next vlog. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever. Yeah.